for another Here You Wear Cares Facebook Live. Um, so excited to see everybody. Uh, we got a great show for you today. Of course, this is a Facebook Live happy hour. So I hope everyone's got their cocktails ready and we're gonna have a little toast in just a little bit. Um, just making sure everybody is logging on. I have my trusty phone here. And so what that means, people, is that as long as I can see your messages, ask as many questions as you like. That's what this is all about. It's for us to engage. It's for us to learn and share. And the whole point is to get your questions across because just by asking questions, you are going to be automatically entered to win our great giveaway today. And that great giveaway is a Raquel Welch influencer inspo wig it is the new wig that we're introducing for all of our brick and mortar stores and you will be ready to win that if you just ask questions you'll be automatically entered as i said and not only is it influencer inspo which we're offering today but if perhaps there's another wig in the brick and mortar collection that you would like that is for wig shop exclusives only you can select one of those as well so we're opening it up but i think you're going to want this influencer inspo once you see it so you guys so excited to welcome you all. We have, as usual, my partner in crime, my designer in crime, Mr. Kyle Neath, all the way from London. Hello, Kyle. Hello there, Frank. It is so fantastic to see you. I have to say I'm absolutely loving that jacket you're wearing. You look gorgeous. How is everybody there? Is everybody okay? We're doing okay here in the States. We're plugging along, right? We're plugging along. So it's good to have Same you. Same here. And of course, Kyle, you and I talked earlier, how excited are we to have, let me introduce you folks, to that lovely lady you see in your screen, that is Miss Diane Bender. And Diane Bender comes all the way to us from the Red Poppy Wig Salon here in Kansas. Hello, Diane, how are you? Hi, Frank, I'm great. It's so wonderful for you, me to be here with you and Kyle both. This is so, it's like a dream come true for me. Uh, well, for us too. Yeah. It's so <laughs> wonderful. Kyle and I always love just being around other people who are in the business, who know the business, and who share our passion for wigs. Isn't that right, Kyle? Absolutely. I have to say, Diane, that you know, I'm I I love I love what you do um, on your Instagram and your social media. So I'm so thrilled that you could join us tonight. You're looking wonderful. And yes. just quickly, I just want to say congratulations. I think somebody has become a new grandmother. Can you believe that? So congratulations. <laughs> so you guys, we're going to talk a little bit about Diane in a bit, but if you're looking to find her, you can find her on, um, it's at, she, her Instagram is at Red Poppy KC and her Facebook page is Red Poppy Wings. So look for her there. And um, listen, let's get started because of course, this is a happy hour as promised. So I'm going to shake up my old standby, which is my martini. What are you all having? Right. I'm having, because you know, I'm trying to lose a bit of weight. So are I'm just you? having, yes, I'm <laughs> cutting out the wine. So I'm having a nice vodka on the rocks. Oh. Not much calories. <laughs> yes, you're skinny, skinny spirits. How about you, Diane? What do you got fixed up there? I have a vodka tonic. Wonderful. Oh, wow. I want well, the hydration along with the vodka. So. We're all on the vodka then tonight. <laughs> Cheers, kids. Let's start off the shank of the evening right. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Here's to a fabulous show. And um, I just want to say a big thank you to everybody who's watching and thank you to everybody in the UK and Europe because I know it's very late. So cheers, everybody. Yes, yes, yes. So you guys, <laughs> um, hey, Norma Dolan's on. She's having red wine. Hey, Norma, good for you, girl. Go for that. <laughs> hey, Norm. Hey, Norma. We, oh, I knew you would be there. We know we love you. Thanks for tuning yeah. in, Norma. So, hi to Marlene Schmidt from Wigs and More. Um, we got uh, Colleen Todd is here. And oh my gosh, so many people joining us today. It's so exciting. So without any further ado, let me introduce you all again, but a little bit more in depth to Miss Diane. Diane, we had a little chat before. Now look, for anyone who's watching today, for anyone who's interested in these wigs, um, and also who have a wig shop and are, you know, every day going out and doing their thing. Tell us a little bit about yourself. I'm under the understanding that you kind of started in this business as a young girl. Is that correct? I did. Uh, I was eight years old when I first started fixing my grandmother's wigs and then uh -huh. 10 years old and fifth, as a fifth grader fixing my teacher's wigs before she went on dates. Uh -huh. So yes, I have been fixing wigs for a very long time. <laughs> 
Indeed. I absolutely, I love that story. When you told me that the other day, I think it's the best story ever. So you've really, really been in this business quite a while. So you know what you're doing, Diane. (laughs) Yes. And I've been a licensed cosmetologist for over 40 years as well. So I've... Wow. Yeah. 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 So see, what a wonderful experience you bring, right? Because not only, you know do you love wigs, you have a passion for wigs, but also being a hairdresser, that gives you a whole lot of opportunities to style and to work with the wigs and, and all of that. So I, I love, you're like, well, you're like our kind, Diane. You're like our kind, we love it. <laughs> Especially and, for you. Yeah. And also, not only are you just like experienced with dealing with other people, but you had your own personal journey with hair loss and with wigs as well. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Well, my, re- my most recent is just this hair loss that I'm experiencing now, which I'm not sure why, but yes, uh, I think we are referring to, I had breast cancer when I was 34, wow. so almost 28 years ago. And so that, um, I did not lose my hair, but I did lose my breasts. So it did put me in a kind of a different mindset as far as body image and self-esteem and how to go forward with the, all those changes. So it makes me, I can be a lot more empathetic for women now who are going through the hair loss and is, you know, issues. Cause it is a big, it's a big deal. Yeah, it is a big deal. And you know, when you are going through something like that, it's also refreshing to talk to someone uh, who has also gone through very similar experiences because that's what it's about. You can share and what a comfort that is as well, you know? Well, it is, I get a lot of that, but it's nice to know there's life after. You know, it, it doesn't seem like it at the time. So, yeah, I, I wanted to pay it forward and God and I made a deal. So yeah, <laughs> you made a deal. I love it. And so <laughs> is that what led you to open up Red Poppy Week Salon two years ago or? Yes, pretty much. I had worked within a hospital setting for the probably a dozen years prior. And as those shops closed, it we, there's just a big hole to fill and you live in the Kansas City area you're really aware that there's just not that much here to offer for women and so I talked to um, another gal that was closing her shop and she encouraged me and then along with my family and friends they really encouraged me to go ahead and open my own shop fantastic fantastic well so you can really speak then to a lot of our audience and and our viewers today because what we are going to be presenting is the Raquel Welch exclusive wig collection. It's only available. We made this collection only available to wig salons because there's so much that we feel that wig salons offer to people. And of course, people can shop online and that's wonderful. We always recommend that you shop from an authorized online retailer because that's the only way you're gonna know you're really getting the product that that they say they're giving you. Um, unlike walking into a, sl- a shop or a salon where you know for sure that's what you're getting. But part of the whole thing about working with a wig salon or wig studio, someone like Diane, is that you can customize these pieces. And while we sell them to you out of the box the way they are, it's, I think, so good that you can go to a place and have someone who's a licensed hairdresser or someone who's really good with wigs customize something to fit your head better. Maybe you want the bangs a little shorter, a little longer. Maybe you want it smoothed out a little bit. And also uh, just regular maintenance. Diane, you guys do regular maintenance on the wigs as well, right? Yes, I do. So like shampooing, resetting, all that kind of stuff. Human, I have a human hair wig that I set on hot rollers and back comb the hell out of it every couple of weeks. <laughs> yeah, That's I what it's all it. about. That's what it's all about. <laughs> so we have, you guys, nine beautiful styles to show you. I don't want to keep you waiting, but we're going to start with our very first one. And the very first style is the one that we're giving away today, if you so desire it. And it is called Influencer Inspo. So let me pull her out. Let me get my trusty, faithful mannequin. Here she is. Gotta love her. And so here we are. This is just a beautiful, smooth, sleek, low-density wig. Diane is going to be our model today. So, Miss Diane, I'm going to see you're prepping yourself. You're going to get your little wig cap on. Yep, you bet. For my hygiene. <laughs> yes, uh, very important. Yeah. yeah. This is a fantastic wig. I'm absolutely loving it. You know, what? I was getting asked quite a lot for this razor cut um, hair, but also to bring up some more styles with a nice, quite heavy bang, you know, yes. or a fringe. Yes. And we don't have a lot of wigs in the collection with um, a heavy fringe, but it's such a fantastic on-trend cut. Oh, I'm loving it. I know. 
So just a few more shout outs. Hi, Lana Thomas. Hi, Shannon Dahl. Patty Manitti's on. Amalia Meyer is on. Hi, Auntie Amalia. And uh, we have Terry watching and we have Jackie Ireland watching. So you guys, Influencer Inspo is a very low density wig. I'm gonna show you the construction on it while Kyle restyles and while we have Diane who's getting it all set up on her head. But here's what you're gonna get with Influencer Inspo. You are going to get a center parted wig, right? With a little bit of a PU strip in the front. So it doesn't have lace. We had a lot of people say they want a longer wig but they don't always want the lace. Some of them find it scratchy, itchy or whatnot. So if you're not a lace gal, then this is a great option for you as well. So you have a mono center part, and then you have the Memory Cap 3, which has the little silicone bands on it, and as well as the beautiful Memory Cap 3 stretch cap. So it really does fit quite nicely. Um, Diane, what do you think? You got that on pretty quickly. I really like this. I wasn't sure. I don't wear a lot of longer wigs because I, I, as I've gotten older, I just don't think there was flattering. But one thing that I noticed about this one right away, like you said, it's very low density. So yeah. it's, it lays nice and flat, which so many fine haired people need that because yeah. they feel like wigs are too much hair. So this, I, mm -hmm. you know, it, it looks really like stray hair. It's great. Yeah. It really does. I love it. And what I like about it is, Diane, because we've made it with the fringe, but we've made it long enough because I like the way that you've right. slightly taken it to the side. So, right. you know, you're not getting that heavy, heavy share fringe. I right. love the way that you've swept it to the side, but also yeah. we also make it this length because it's perfect to customize right. as well. Absolutely. And yeah, and I love it. You know, like I like the fringe, but I would probably, you know, for a, for a client, I would texturize it a little bit and maybe lighten it up a little bit. So you can wear it forward. Sometimes I even like to take it a little higher on one side and then leave that longer sweep on the other. Diane, you're nodding, you do that too? Absolutely, if I were, if this was on, if I could take my head off and do this, that's exactly what I would have done. I would have yeah. pieced it out a little bit here and then let it go longer, absolutely. Yeah, and it's just, it's nice and fresh. I think it's got just some nice soft layers in it. So, you know, we, you know, we did launch a style called Mesmerized in the Raquel Welch collection. This would be very similar to Mesmerized, only you're going to have this nice light layering and you're going to have a nice flirty bang. So this one is one of the giveaways today and one of the ones that we'll be showing. So voila. Look at that. looks yeah, great. I'm just seeing you spin a little. I love it. <laughs> it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful cut. My right. sister's already, so my sister's already wore it. She loves it. Do you know what I'm finding too, guys? There's a big sort of retro feel going on at the moment. Mm -hmm. And we sort of come in, it was big for the 90s, but we're really going back into that 80s look as well. And I'm loving the way that this is sort of razor cut around the face. I think it's a fantastic yes. little style. Yes, uh -huh. totally. Frank, I don't think I shared with you, but I sent Kyle a picture of me in 1974 with my hair that was like this. So, <laughs> so sleek and sophisticated. Well, well, I don't know if you it's... looked. <laughs> you looked fabulous, and now you've gone right back to those times, Diane. This hair's taken years off you. Oh, Kyle's worn it a few times too, but he doesn't feel like doing the straight blowout. We've seen you wear it, Kyle. But listen, Kyle, Tammy Warren asks, "Can it be pulled back into a ponytail?" And I'm giving that to you because Kyle loves to refashion these wigs. Show us a little oh, spin of the pony. <laughs> absolutely, because hi, Tammy. How are you, my friend? Because remember, you've got this fabulous um, PU front. So it's, it's nice and secure. I love the layering around the face. And then look, I'm just gonna take this back. And my top tip is, I'm just gonna twist it like this and put my comb in and look, it's great. Yeah, I love that. that or like, yeah, even a yeah. ponytail, they are really flexible. And you know, Natalie asks, is this wig heat friendly? And yes, Natalie, this is heat friendly fiber on the Influencer Inspo. And not only that, what Kyle is showing you by putting it in a ponytail or collecting it up, sometimes during the day, that is a great way to keep the fiber looking fresh and not having it rub against your collar all the time. So another yeah. great thing about that as well. Um, there you are, Tommy. Yes. That's your ponytail, Tommy. Yeah, see? Jackie asks if it has permatease in it. Jackie, there might be a little permatease just along some of the weft but it's ever so slightly. We really try to keep this as flat and smooth as possible. So keep that yeah. in mind as well. Who else has a question for us? Oh, what color is Diane wearing? Yes, Diane, what color are you wearing? 
Sorry, gosh. Uh, this one is, I can read, um, RL 922 Shadow Shade, which is the Ice Cafe Latte. All right, there you Ooh. go, Melissa. That's what Diane's wearing. I'm showing her today in um, the Rusty Auburn, which is RL 3027. And Kyle, what do you have there? This favorite color of mine at the moment, this is the color I want my own hair. This uh -huh. is the ice. <laughs> This is the ice macchiato color. Look at that. Oh, 7 yeah. to 11 shades. So every single colorway. And remember, this is part of our cool tone collection. So with this blonde, there's no right. red in this whatsoever. Gorgeous. Yes, yes. Uh, so, hey, Karen, you ask, is it too layered to braid? The back you can braid, but yeah, around here you might have a little, some like short pieces that fall out. But I think that looks kind of cute too. So it's all good. It's yeah, it's plenty long enough. To, I was just braiding it. It's plenty long enough to braid. Yeah. So yeah. Elizabeth Aben asks, um, is this one in any store only purchase or is it sold online? Uh, Elizabeth, this is only sold at retail stores. So you have to go into a retail store to get this. And that is what all the wigs we're going to be showing you today are all about. Um, again, Melissa, one more question. Kyle, you're combing through there. She wants to know, will using a comb hurt the fiber? And I would, I would say no. I would think you would agree, right? Oh, no, not at all. You know, we have to brush them. But just remember, when you're using your comb or your brush, just be very gentle with them. You know, treat these like, like you know, they're a beautiful product and they need to be looked after a little bit. So don't be too rough with them. But of course, you can use your brush with them. Yeah. It's fabulous. I, I just want to show you, too. If you like a bit of volume, guys, I'm going to spray a little bit of spray. Oh, oh yeah. You can get some, yeah, you <laughs> yeah, you can get some volume here at the crown with this. So it's it's not as flat yes. um, as yeah. you think it is. You can really get some volume. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, Connie asked, is she coming in different cap sizes for the influencer? Well, right now this is an average. Uh, you have the adjuster straps in the back, which can help. Um, and if you're a little more petite, you can bring them into your wig salon and have them tighten it up a little bit for you. Um, so Right now, this is what we have as an average, but there are some adjustments that can be made. Um, and yes, Lynn asks, are there layers? Yes, Lynn, there are a lot of layers in it. I actually love yeah. that, how you just kind of fluffed that just now and you wore a little tassel. I think that looks fantastic on you. Yeah, it's beautiful. And I tell you what, I love the color on Diane too. It yeah. looks fantastic, right. really beautiful. Yeah, because your hair's dark, Diane, but with this, with this, you're still getting the dark, but you're getting those flecks of color through it. So I think it looks beautiful on you. Yeah. Thank you. So Thank you. to answer Renee, uh, Renee Lewis writes in, she says, does this have an extended nape and what is the density? It does not have an extended nape, Renee. We didn't put an extended nape because there is some short hairs that kind of come in the back, which I don't know if you can see, but you can see that we have some short hairs and it's just a regular nape, but it still will work if you want to put it in a ponytail or anything like that. Um, and it's just a very low density wig. So you guys, this is the new one we are introducing to our salons uh, exclusive and our wig boutiques. And it is Influencer Inspo. But listen, if you love this one, you're gonna love what we have coming up. And we have a photo of it. Our next one that we're gonna show you guys is called Chic It Up. And let's get into our Chic It Up, shall we guys? <laughs> let's Chic It Up. Yeah, yeah it fantastic. Up. We got eight more. So you guys, where do you see all these? Where do you see them? They're all really, they're all one beautiful, uh, more beautiful than the next. And I think they just look so wonderful for so many different people. Um, these really work. Oh yeah. It's a great collection, something for everyone. A great little capsule collection too. If you're just opening a wig business, really beautiful. Um, this Chic It Up, I have to say, I love it because it's such a great little shortcut. It is. I love it too, actually, Kyle. Um, Where's my brush? It's so, it's just got so much like just joy in her, doesn't it? I mean, <laughs> it does. Yeah. All I mean, all I've done with mine is give it a really good shake, you know, because I like lots of volume. I'm using a little bit of our restore spray on mine because I like to give it some some texture you yes. know oh? yes. so I'm spraying it with some restore spray which sort of gives it sort of some textured look and then look at this I love all the pieciness of this wig oh yeah I would just like PCs. yeah 
all bitty and all PC. It's fabulous. Yeah. It's actually what Raquel is wearing on the cover of the catalog. And uh, you can see that on the inside as well. It's just a great, joyful wig. Tell me a little bit, Diane, you got that on now. Tell me what you think. I like it. I think it's really fun. And I, I think it's a great option for somebody who wants a shorter do, but doesn't want short hair. Um, uh huh. And it does, like you said, it's got so much, so many layers. It's got a lot of um, personality. Yes. Uh -huh. with it. I would say so too. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. So it's really, I mean, we have, a, we have a lot of call for um, shorter wigs, but with lots of volume. So with yes. it, you're definitely getting the volume. I mean, look how big you can get it. But yeah, what my favorite thing about this is- Look at that, right? You can just slick her back. Uh -huh. And just have like a very like kind of like I don't know very chic and very sophisticated kind of look to her overall. Um, it's shorter into the nape, um, and it's got a lot of texture in it overall. Um, but it's just a really lovely style. It's one of one of those styles that I really love out of the collection that um, you know we haven't seen uh, too much. It kind of like fell out of the radar, off the radar. And I just think it's, I just think it's great. It is Jackie Island who asks a heat friendly wig. Yes, I think there's only one in the collection that we're showing today that is not heat friendly. So we will discuss that as well very shortly. I'll let you know which one that is. I think so, this might be one not, I think this is our non heat friendly one, no? No, um, no, it is not. I'm oh. showing it in the 1488 golden wheat. I don't know what you guys have. What colors do you have? You're yeah, I've got, the glazed mocha, which is one of my favorite. Not that it is Vibrolite. It is Vibrolite. I'm sorry. It is Vibrolite. So this is not heat. Yeah. Don't put your curling irons or flat irons to this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I thought so because I could I could see with the colors. But like once again, you don't. This is a wig that I don't think really needs to be that heat styleable because with this, it does have some permatease in it. And all you have to do is really use your hands and some product. And this oh. hair stays. She's right. fabulous. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. So you guys, I think this is a great, cute shortcut. Again, it's on the cover. You can also get this catalog. If you haven't received it, you can get it on uh, flipsnack.com. Look for hair you wear. And all those links will be posted in the bottom. And so you'll be able to find that wig as well. Um, okay. I want to show you guys. I want to take you to... Um, one of, my, one of my other favorites, um, and it is called Easy Does It. Where is Easy Ooh. Does It? Should we look at Easy Does It? We have a photograph of Easy Does It. And I have, I guess I have to pull it up. <laughs> <laughs> well, Easy Does It is, do you know what? It's a great, great, it's like a bob, but it's a graduated yeah. bob that you can do so many different yes. looks with, and, you know? And actually, that is, Easy Does It is the one of the ones that I, is the one that I am having on here now. Um, I, I think I beat you guys to the punch on Easy Does It. <laughs> but you guys had, um, you guys had Chic It Up before. I have Easy Does It here. And yes, it is a, uh, one of the all-time great Raquel Welch wigs. I love that this is um, available in wig salons because this is one of those styles that is so great to customize. And I'm going to show you why I love that. Okay, you have this beautiful fullness in through the top. And what I love is this nice razor cut tapered back. And if you have a customer who wants it even tighter, this is great to razor cut, to texturize, to thin. You can get that really nice volume into the top, and then you get that nice sculpted nape. Wonderful. Um, you have the longer lengths in through the front, which I love. Um, and I know, Diane, look at you. Diane, you guys watch Diane, because she just will play with it a little bit. And just yep. with the hands, Diane, I don't, have you done any styling to this at all? No, nothing. Just out of the box. Oh, Diane. Out of the box. Out of the box. That looks fabulous on you. Isn't it fun? <laughs> I love it. This is what I wish my hair would do. I have <laughs> my straightest hair. And it, oh my gosh. You know, I'd have killed for this hair. I um, know. I so know. Awesome. You, well, that's, that's what I love about wigs. Do you know what, Diane? That just looks like you've stepped out of the salon. It's just looked like your hair's grown out a little bit. 
it's really flattering to, I think, to most, I always say women or guys, whoever's watching, because I love the way that you can change it. I love the volume yeah. of the crown. Yeah. And it's sort of, I've sort of styled it on my mannequin. Can you see it? I've made it quite flat because, you know, you know, you can just style it in so many different ways. It's beautiful. Yeah. I saw this on you, Diane, on, on your Instagram page, actually. Mm -hmm. And I think it's one of the most beautifulest wigs that you yeah. wear. I love it's it. flattering. And, you know, so you guys, I wanted to apologize because I did think I had cheeked it up before. I just grabbed the wrong one. But so my previous one um, was not cheek it up. I just want to let you guys know. Um, so, or I had this one on the mannequin, so I'm going to leave her. I'm all caught up now. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Your pre-style. I, I know. I got, well, I got nine wigs in front of me. I don't know which one to grab first. So, um, you guys, Lorna Thomas wants to know, can bangs be cut into this? Girl. Absolutely. 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 Yeah. Because I mean, you've just got, Lorna, look, you've got just got enough hair here that you could take any style into this. It's a great wig to customize. But what's fun about the, the this heat friendly, heat resistant, is that it it'll, will stay. So you can get a bang look without cutting the bangs, like my 1960s kind of vibe going on here. Yeah. And hey, so yeah. Well, do you know what I love, Diane? You've had, you've done about five styles now. <laughs> you've yeah. got, you've, you know, you've, you haven't got much of a mirror. You're just using your hands. It looks fantastic. Well, that's exactly what Jackie just said. She said, Diane, do you do hair as well? You style that up so easy. <laughs> so, <laughs> These are my does. cool. I can't tell you how many people want to take my hands home with them. So I know, right? <laughs> well, I'm just going to kick up a little more volume. But you guys, this is really a gorgeous wig. Again, um, just so fun to style, to play with. You can create as much volume as you want. Again. Um, you know, tuck this behind the ear if you like, you know, one, leave one side a little tighter and one side a little longer. Let me show you the construction now. Since I'm, since I'm on track, let me show you the construction so you all know. So again, on this one, on Easy Does It, you have the lace front temple to temple, actually it extends to ear to ear. And then you have a mono part, and then you have the memory cap three construction, right? Which has the silicone bands. And then this one does have an extended name. So that's what you get with Miss Easy Does It. So Tara, I hope that answered your question. You were asking what the cap looks like. So there you go. But uh, so I could play with this one all day, but I mean, seriously, I mean, <laughs> you know, it's just, yeah, uh, it's just the ultimate glamour. It's a, it's a great one. And like, um, I think Diane, you'll agree, you know, if you have them, um, if you have a salon or, you know, this is a wig that is, I think you must always keep in stock because whoever sits in your chair, whatever age you are, you could be 18, you could be 80. This is going to suit, you know, and there's something very flattering about this cut. Yeah. Well, and another thing I just want to point out where it go, people go astray, maybe when they're looking at wigs online, you know, look, look at the length of that the wigs on the mannequin compared to on my head. Yeah. It's a lot shorter on me. So I'll have people that actually will come in and argue with me <laughs> about it's not the same wig. And it's just like, well, you have head, you have a head, you know, and <laughs> you don't have a giraffe neck. So it looks completely different. Yeah. So it's really imperative that people try them on before they purchase them, I think. Yes. Absolutely. Oh, definitely. Uh, two yeah. questions, guys. Sandra says you have to cut the lace off first. No, our lace comes with the Rock Watch collection ready to go. So you don't have to trim it back. And then also Annette wants to know what is the best way to get the arch of the front to keep the hair out of your eyes? Well, girl, I tell you what, Annette, I just give it a spray with a firm hold hairspray. And then I just kind of pinch it a little bit while that spray is setting. And that yeah. helps to put off your face. Um, this one's pretty good. Yeah, I just like it. Minutes? Yeah, it does. Does it it's, does? It's yeah. still on my face really well. It's got a little extra body, right? A little extra body. Yeah, look at. I mean, there's the something fabulous. Well. Yeah, there's something fabulous about the true to life fiber, just like what Diane just said, because it really is quite pliable and it just molds with your hands, yeah. you know. And I think it's so fantastic to style. Yeah. So, I mean, to our wig shop people out there. You cannot get this online. This is exclusive to you and it's a gorgeous wig. And another thing about it that makes it even better for the wig salons, I think, is because you have this long length here, this can totally be customized, razor cuts to fit your customer. If they don't want the long pieces in the front, 
you know, this is a great wig that's able to be customized and made for whoever wants to wear it and however they want to. Yeah. So gorgeous. We can oh, play God. with this for hours. I know. <laughs> play I know. with it for hours. But we must well, show color. our viewers the other ones. We must show them. So our next one is one of my, I love all of them. They're like my children. I always say that. I love them all. So we're going to move into the next one. We have a photograph of the next one. And the next one is called On Fire because it is smoking hot, kids. It is smoking hot. Let's pull out our On Fires kids and uh, we'll give you guys a look at that. Now, if this style looks familiar to you, it's because it is a familiar style. Everybody says that they are trying to get the Miss Lisa Rinna haircut. I can tell you personally that this is the closest thing you're going to find to the Lisa Rinna haircut. So if you guys have a customer who wants that, if you are a Housewives fan, if you're just a Lisa Rinna fan, or you like that Sally Hirschberger razor cut textured look, then this is the one. And it is only available to our lovely, lovely stores. So anyone who wants this look cannot get it online. You have to come into the wig shop to get it. And you guys, this is, this is it. Like I'm telling you. So I am showing um, on fire in shaded iced cafe latte, which is one of our ash base tones. And um, it is also RL 924SS if you're looking for the number. Diane, tell us a little bit about this girl. Go for it, tell me what color you got on, tell me what you think of it, and then we'll go to Kai. This is Ice Granita, and I, uh, six, uh, RL 61, or 5161, you know, when, I, wow. when, the, when this style first came out, I knew it was going to be good. I, it was one of those that I ordered multiple colors in, and I sold it out within mm -hmm. the first few days. You know, it's, it's so fun and so nice. Um, I mean, you can, and again, what Kyle and I mentioned about the, the fiber, if you don't want the flip, you can turn, you can just use your hands and curl it under. Yeah, so there's a lot look of at that. There's a lot of ways. Yeah, um, I like that too, Diane. Am amazing. I mean, I'm absolutely loving it, Diane, what you're doing with these wigs, because, you know, some people get a little bit scared and say, you know, how they hard to style, how do they come out of the box? Right. You are literally showing this out of the box on your hands you're using you're just using your fingers to style it and you're coming up with all these different looks and yes. it just looks beautiful i love that gray color on you by the way thank you i love this gray color too yeah hey, sheila, she wants, a, sheila wants to know if this is fiber light sheila this is true to light fiber kyle i love the way you have that just nice and tousled a little more relaxed yeah what i did frank was i just give a really good shake I'd, yeah. I'd give it a blitz with, with some uh, hairspray. But look at this. I just love this cut. Yes. The color you're looking at is the SS Biscuit. Really mm. beautiful. So it's that beautiful white blonde, but you've yes. got the dark ombre color coming, coming through. And all I did was, I'm just going to show you again, is look, I always say you've got to shake these wigs to wake the wig. So give the wig a really good shake. Yes. And I flip, you flip this over and let the wig settle and look. This just styles itself. It's done yeah. in. Yeah. And you guys, what really, what I want you to know why this is truly the Lisa Rinna haircut is because you'll see a lot of imitations where this jets out so far, like it makes like a shelf. That is not how Lisa's hair is, okay? It is razor cut texture in through the back. It is flatter in the back. That's what makes this the real deal, okay? I studied her haircut over and over and over again. <laughs> so I'm telling you, if you have a client who wants that, this is it. And also, you know, as Diane said, right, on my mannequin, it probably comes a little longer, probably on, the, on a real head, right? It'll come up a little higher. So just keep that in mind as well. Kyle, are you going for it? Kyle's going to go for it. He, does, he cannot help himself go for it, Kyle. Let's you know, this is, I've taken this, this, this hair, this color is just unbelievable, you know? Yeah. This this blonde is my favorite. Which one color. do you have? Is that 1923 SS? Yeah, this is the shaded biscuit. Yeah. I just wanted to show, you know, you can get this very flat. Yeah. If you're somebody who doesn't like a lot of hair, you yeah. know? And mm -hmm. you, you can just use your hands like Diane did. And because remember, we got the, the bendy pieces of wire at the temple, so it can really snatch into your hairline. But look at this, guys. Is this color? the best color ever. 
Yes, <laughs> absolutely. It's just stunning. It's a stunning color. And the ice granita is as well, too, because Diane, turn to the side. What the great thing about ice granita is it's a very cool gray, but do you see how it progresses from really bold light in the front? And then from really light in the front, it trans like it, it just kind of moves into like a mid-tone gray, and then you get the dark in the bottom. So as hair would naturally gray, that's what's beautiful about that one. It is, and it's a pretty gray color. It's not, it's not too white, it's not too silver, it's just, it's just really pretty. Yeah, yeah. Loving it, people, loving it. Kyle, that looks great on you too. What can I say? It looks great on everyone. <laughs> That's what makes this also one of those styles that is a classic, right? Well, like Kyle, you always say there's certain pieces you should have in your inventory. And I think this is, is one as well. Oh yeah, it's definitely is. And Diane is testament to that because like she said, she, she had it and she sold it out. But remember guys, because we have that monofilament top, we can change this part in to right. any direction and we have right. the lace as well. So right. fantastic. So let me tell you about construction on this, guys, real quick before we move on. So this has the ear-to-ear -ear lace on it, as you can see. This one has a full mono top, as Kyle just said. So you have total parting flexibility within that whole top area. And then this, too, has the memory cap three with the silicone bands for extra security. And it has an extended lace, lace or extended nape. So um, a great wig, very nice, uh, fairly light for the volume that you can get out of it. And just, I just think a real winner. Um, <laughs> Kyle, Melissa says you look like Bon Jovi with that hair now. <laughs> great, great. That's, that's the look I'm going for. Change your look, change your life. Margaret Riley, yes. Absolutely. On Fire is only available in wig salons. So you must be a wig salon in order to carry it. So how about that? All right, kids. I got another little photo for you of another lovely wig that I think you're going to really like. And that one is called Ahead of the Curve. So if you want to be ahead of the curve, then you might want to consider this wig. So I'm just going to give it a little bit of, I love my curl spray by uh, Hair You Wear. And I'm just going to give this a little mist of curl spray. Not only does the curl spray hold the curl that's in the wig, but the curl spray also gives it a little bit of texture that you can play with. Uh, so it's really nice as an alternative to maybe a hairspray or a gel, because it's just got a little bit of a soft hold. So ahead of the curve is basically like a shorter length bob, but what you're going to find with it is that it's got just some loose, natural, choppy texture throughout the whole thing. This, again, exclusive to the wig salons, right? So another wig that is just kind of a tumbled wave. It's not over-structured um, because we wanted to give people something with a little bit of modernity, um, that doesn't look too set or too curled or too waved. And so this is one of those styles. I am showing ahead of the curve in the, what am I showing it in? Oh, this is the R630, which is the chocolate copper. So it's a nice rich chocolate color, um, which just has a little bit of hint of copper in there. Can you guys see that? Mm -hmm. So Diane, what do you have her in today? Looking this fab cute. Oh, thank you. This is... <laughs> Spice, uh, 2830, I believe, uh -huh. or 3028, sorry, Shadow Shape 30, uh, 3028. Yeah, this, oh, it's just really, I like this wig a lot. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. tell me what you think of it, because I mean, I obviously you've worked with a lot of the Raquel Welch wigs, and I'm curious, how does this one work for you? I mean, what, do you, what is it that you like about it out of, you know, so many styles that we have? Well, you know, sometimes I'm, I'm really surprised how much cuter they are in, than in they are in some of the pictures. And I yeah. know, and I hate mm -hmm. to say that to you, Frank, since you're the one that styles them, but, <laughs> <laughs> but they, they don't, they're not always representative of all the different designs that you can get out of them. Yeah, yeah. I like, I, I'm, I'm just a fan of the, the shorter and the back longer and the front anyway, yeah, yeah. I think. And I think the wigs last a lot longer that way too. So I agree. people get more bang for their yeah. buck. And this, this is Vibrolite as well, by the way. I should mention, this one is Vibrolite. This is not the heat friendly fiber. This is in Vibrolite. Um, Kyle, but you, you know what? what? I think I've got the SS ca Cacao. So it's like a chocolate color, you oh, know? Yeah, yeah. So, so it's really beautiful. But you know what? I think... Um, Diane, you're so right, because we photographed this on Raquel, and obviously 
you know, Raquel is, is somebody who likes volume. So you can create a lot of volume with it. Mm -hmm. For, I was very surprised when I got this and actually put it on a client because look, this can sit so flat. Oh yeah. And you just get that really on trend looking uh -huh. bob. It's amazing because it's cut into the nape of the neck uh -huh. and it's longer around the front. So once again, this is, I, and I think the girl I tried this on was only in her twenties and it looked amazing. Yeah, because it does have amazing. a natural appeal to it, right? It has a undone, very undone look to it, I think. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So really yeah, beautiful. This one, guys, is ahead of the curve. I'm going to show you construction while the while Kyle and Diane are playing with it. Construction on this is very nice as well. So you have you have some options on this. So it has the ear to ear lace, right? You have a side mono part. So you have some little bit of flexibility in there. Again, memory cap three construction and the extended nape. So overall, very nice wig. And again, as I said, comes in vibro light. Um, yeah. You know, it just um, nice to have some alternatives. And again, this is another one that I think the style is good for a lot of people who don't want too much length, but they want some texture and they want some pieciness. Um, and you know what, Diane, I gotta, I gotta say to you, I mean, I laugh when, cause everybody says that to me when they see me like, well, I like the wig, but I like, I like the way I style it better. And, or the way this, you know, <laughs> and it's true. There are like, that's the beautiful thing about wigs and hair is we can style it so many different ways. Yeah. Usually we get like one or two shots with Raquel. Like it's like, you know, this is how she likes it. It's how she feels comfortable. And that's how we shoot it. And she has her own interpretation of things. And then of course, we, we've been lately trying to shoot on different models as well. So right. we can feature it style a little different way. So we're listening to people. We're trying to get as many looks as we can, but listen, nothing like you guys working with someone like, you know, a customer company working out with a professional like Diane or like you guys out there to show them how they can wear it different ways. Because that is one of the beauties, right? Of coming to a professional week salon is you're working with a professional. So they can help you out. When you see something online, you know, you can't put 80 pictures of something. That's what the beauty about working with professionals is. And I can't, I can't stress that enough. Obviously, there's a convenience to shopping online, but there is also a great benefit to working with professionals in the industry, uh, I, would, I would say, you know. Oh, definitely. And I think this is why we love having people like Diane on the show and everybody else who's joined us because the feedback, you know, you're actually getting somebody like Diane who's in the chair and like Diane said then, you know, she, you know, sometimes, you know, the wigs don't look as good as she thought in the pictures. We get yeah. the truth from you girls. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, you don't hold back, which we love because, you know, this is all about being honest. But like right. I said as well, this has got such a great silhouette. I just love how yeah. it's slightly choppy at the back. And I love this sort of the longer part at the front. And I love the sort of uh, curl pattern to it. Not quite a curl, but just that body to it. And you know, yeah. Kyle, listen, you and I talk and you know, I, I totally agree with you. I love to see reviews of all of our products online, good or bad, right? Because feedback is always good. And if you wanna be good at what you, whether you do hair, whether, you're, whether you paint homes for a living, whatever it is that you do, being good at what you do involves taking criticism and listening to it and responding. And that's how you grow. That's how you get better. I mean, even in business, right? I'm sure you can attest, Diane, right? That first year of business, right? All that information that comes in, you keep using that to grow and to get better and to, and to fine tune, right? Mm -hmm. It's so important. It so is. It is. And hopefully it's not too critical. It's just being suggestions right yes yes <laughs> exactly exactly hey and, and yeah that's good that's good it you is. gotta, have a, you gotta yeah. have a tough skin in this world people you can't let a few little criticisms and you know i i think the best thing always for anyone who reviews our products um on youtube or on instagram tell the truth tell what you really think because we are in it for the people that are wearing it. and if and if you know you you, you, know, you have like an ego and you can't deal with it then I don't know. That doesn't that doesn't make you very receptive. So anyway, I'm off that soapbox. But I'm going to say one thing. This is Vibrolate. And uh, Holly asks, is it a little shinier than True to Life? Yes. Coming out of the box, Vibrolite tends to be a little shinier than True to Life fiber. It's just a different fiber, right? However, the more you run your hands through it, the more you manipulate it, you'll be kind of surprised that it does kind of dull out a little bit and starts to look a little less shiny, if that is a concern for you. Some people really like that high shine. You know, they use shine sprays in their hair, or they used to, and um, or their own bio hair is so matte that they like shine. So, um, you know, it's to each his own, but Vibrolite tends to be a little shiny, yes. 
Yeah, but you are right. I don't know if you'll agree, Diane. Like you say, a few brushes. You can always use a little bit of dry shampoo. Once you start using a bit of product, the shine really does go and then it, it just yeah. emulates the, clo the closest thing you're going to find to real hair. Because remember, guys, if you're new to this, um, with the Vibralite and with most, it's 7 to 11 shades to so every single colorway. So even when you're looking at this lovely brown here, it's still, we still put 7 to 11 shades yeah. to it. So it, re it really is the closest thing you're going to find to real hair. So, Diane, I'm looking at you and I'm loving that on you too. I don't know if I prefer this now to the other one. I know, I know. <laughs> well, this brings out the Irish in me. I, this <laughs> <laughs> what color is that again, Diane? Spice, 3028. Beautiful. I nice. really like it. Nice. Yes. So Kathy, uh, Kathy Weisgerber, hi Kathy, writes in and says, what spray am I using? Kathy, I use everything, okay? I'm like a product junkie. This one today that I'm using is the Kenra Ultra Free Spray. Um, not to give props to Kenra necessarily, but it's what I have out here. And I gotta be honest with you. So that's what it is, girl. Um, I also love this, our Hair You Wear Curl Spray. One of my faves, look, Kyle's got the kit. Kyle, you got the kit, yeah, you got everything in there. What do you got in that kit? You know, this is, I don't go anywhere without this kit because it's like a travel site. It's unbelievable. I think every wig shop should stock it. Everybody watching who wears wigs should get this. In here, you've got your cleanse, which is your shampoo. The restore, I love because um, it's a spray on conditioner, but it helps restore the fiber, but it's great for styling. And then you've got your shape spray, which is a really a fabulous hairspray that's designed for fiber that brushes out, doesn't gunk up. Um, fabulous on your own hair too, a must for all Diane. wig wearers and a must for your wig shops. Yeah, true. Diane, what do you got there? She's got our... our... <laughs> yeah, our control product, which is awesome for those people who... I, I like aerosol and pump because I like mm -hmm. to do volume with aerosol and then go in and make it hard, yeah. with, you know, just child of the 80s and 90s. But um, <laughs> for those Aren't we all? <laughs> for those who don't know this is adjustable so you can do different variation of depending on how much spray you want it's got three settings so you can go a little bit lighter to a little to medium to heavy with that spray so this is great right great product too you know i i always say treat these like your own hair because you want so if you're if you like like a firm hold hairspray, then you know what? Go for the firm hold hairspray, do what you like. If some people would like a little hold, then go with the light hold. It's totally up to you. Um, so um, Hair Plus Flare says, is a chocolate copper new color? No, it's the, um, it's been around for a while, chocolate copper. It's a very warm, rich color. It is R630H to repeat. So that was for Hair Plus Flare. And then Tammy says, can boar hair brushes be used on these wigs? I'm gonna turn that over to you, Diane. I know what I'm gonna say. You know, I will use, I, I probably wouldn't use it on the whole wig. I might use it to take the part out, yeah. but I, I wouldn't pull it through the whole wig. I agree. I think it's a little too much. I like the wire brush, mm -hmm. uh, wig brush, and the comb. That's what they're there for. That's yep. what they're there for. All right, kids. Yeah. We got another gorgeous one for you coming up. The next one is called Statement Style. And I'm going to show you Statement Style. We have a lovely photograph of that as well. And I'm gonna give you a little hint about something you're gonna see with statement style as well when you get it. So you're going to see in some of the Raquel Welch wigs, look at how gorgeous that is, nice, long, beautiful. When you get a wavy or curly wig in the Raquel Welch collection, you are going to see this little hang tag. I don't know if you guys can see this, okay? It's a little tag that says, do not comb or brush, okay? You guys are like, what? What do you mean don't comb or brush it? It's a wig. I, you told me to treat it like my own hair. That is true. One of the things about wave is, you know, if you brush this out with the brush, you're going to get a soft wave. You're not going to get that tendril look. So the idea is, if you like the tendrily look on your wig, do not brush or comb, okay? Because you're going to soften all that and it's going to get fuller. But you can reset that with the water. So that's why we put that there. It doesn't mean you really can't comb it. So this one is right out of the box. You can see the zigzag part. You can see that it's got that tendril look. I'm just gonna take a wide tooth comb through it. But what you're gonna see is you see how it expands the curl and softens it. So you don't get a tendril look. That is just what we're telling you so you are aware of that before you go ahead and go, what happened to all those tendrils? They're gone, what do I do? Well, don't comb or brush it. <laughs> so let me tell you about construction on this a little bit. And then I wanna see Diane and Kyle in it. Beautiful, lightweight, long wig you guys are gonna love. We have the ear-to-ear -ear lace on this. 
This has a full mono top, right? So lots of parting options on it. It is fully hand tied. Look at this people, beautiful hand tied, light, just a little bit of knotting throughout all of it. And then you have the hook and loop adjusters in the back, no extended nape because of the length, but super lightweight for the length. Diane, uh, well, let me say just first of all, Diane, yeah. I am showing this in the RL 1125, which is the golden walnut. Diane, what are you wearing? Show me that gorgeous wig on you. Look at that hair. I know. Oh this my. Cinnabar. Wow. Oh, Cinnabar. Cinnabar. Okay. 2231. I know. I've never had hair like this till now. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can certainly wear it, Diane. I know that you look good. You look stunning in it, actually. It really, really is beautiful. Um, I have to say with this wig, because it's fully hand tied, it is so, for the amount of hair. It is so lightweight yeah, and right? so comfortable yeah. to wear. This is my um, this is my own one, actually. I just want to tell you what I've oh, done oh, with it. Kyle. Just oops, yeah. I've just cut a small little layer through the front of mine because I customized it because I didn't want it falling in my face. What color are you wearing? Are you wearing, Kyle? I am wearing the shaded honey. Gotcha. Can you see that? Gotcha. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. You wear that color well too. Well, yeah, this is more like my natural hair color, sort of more like a um, a sun kissed, dirty blonde, you know, natural blonde. But um, I have, have, you know, I've tried to dye it white. So yes. I put this yeah. on now and again to go back to my old look. <laughs> so Diane and Kyle, uh, Stephanie asks, well, if you can't comb it, how do you get the tangles out? Um, so I just wanted to say, Stephanie, you can comb it, okay? But you have to use a wide tooth comb, okay? And then if you use a brush, what I'm saying is you're going to take that tendrily curl definition out of it. So just be aware of that. Also, you guys, I'm gonna tell you, you know, gently comb these when wet, if at all. Like once you shampoo them, you start from the bottom and you must work your way up the hair. Do not start here and comb down. You're gonna be in a world of trouble. Diane? Any pointers for people washing them that you can give us? Well, with a wig as long as this one is, I would be, you know, you just obviously have to be really careful because it would tend to get tangled more easily. Okay. And probably once, just focus more on getting the cap clean than the entire, all the hair clean. Good. But I, I would probably hold it under the faucet instead of like dunking it in a sink because it would just, it could be just a tangled mess. Yeah. Wonderful, wonderful point. I mean, you have to really be careful with any of these. The shorter ones are a little more forgiving, right? Because mm -hmm. the length doesn't create that tension. Um, but, um, but Kyle, um, Tara, yeah, said, I'm you sure. half up, half Tara, down. There you are. <laughs> yeah, I read it. Yeah, so there you go, Tara. This is a great one. Wore half up, half down. Remember, because we've got this fully hand tied top, you can change the partings any way you want. I just put a little um, clip in it. Yeah. But it, um, just to let you know, guys, if you're watching, I have cut just a small layer around the face because um, that doesn't really suit my face shape, the, the sort of heavy one yeah. length hair. I've always had layers in my hair. So I just cut um, a small layer in the front. Awesome. I always tell women that if they've, they've had daughter, they should know how to comb a brush, brush or comb a wig out. Uh, good point, Diane. Good point. You just would not do that. <laughs> yes. Listen, no. I come with a family of all Italians, and you know the girls have the curly hair. You don't, you don't attempt that. You don't attempt that. Yes. All right, guys. So we have three more great styles coming up. The next one is going to be called "With a Bang." So bang it out, kids. Let's get that one out. Diane, thank you so much. Look, Diane's such a good sport. She's just whipping one on after the other. Oh, it's. My pleasure. This is so much fun. Yeah, well, and, and you're looking fabulous in, in them all, I've got to say. Yeah. <laughs> and Kyle, I mean, you too just whipping those on too. <laughs> well, you know me, I've been whipping these on and off since I was 12. So you know what? Should the be thing is, <laughs> you know what, Kyle? Kyle will attest to this because I know Kyle well. I mean, isn't that really one of the best ways we kind of, all of us, just kind of really, we try them on to see how they work and how they feel, even you know, men, women, you know, that's how you, that's how you learn, you know, that's how you get the feel of it. Kyle, we're Absolutely. Always them on, right? <laughs> I've always got them on. Well, the thing is, you've got to, you know, if when I had my own 
um, consultancy. You know, if you're going to sell something, you know, I I wanted to obviously see how comfortable it is and right. how easy it is to style. And if something doesn't fall right, you know, I'm not going to buy it, you know, because I know somebody's going to struggle to do it themselves. The fabulous thing with us as designers, Frank, is, you know, we take all this into consideration with the whole team because yes. we really do want them to come out of the box Yes. And to be able to put straight on the head, you know? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So you guys, with a bang, it's just that. It's a cute little short haircut with a heavy bang. Um, just a little bit of tapering along in front of the ear. And then you get this fullness in the back. So it's kind of, I guess, I don't know, would we call it a boycott? I don't know. It's kind of like a little bit of a wedge cut. Um, but it's really a lovely, simple, classic look. Kind of a la Vidal Sassoon back in the day, right? Um, yeah. And yeah. You, you can wear it so many different ways. Diane, oh, I'm showing this in the SS613, which is the shaded platinum. Diane, which color do you have, my dear? And this one, I, should, I don't know why I didn't write all this down because I'm <laughs> lined upside down. Um, this is shaded or shadow shade, caramel or caramel, whichever you want to okay. take. Yeah. And then it's um, SS1016. Beautiful. Ooh, lovely. SS1016. And Kyle, you have which one? I've got one of our best-selling Raquel Welsh blondes, which is our Golden Wheat. So it's fourteen eighty-eight. So it's it's been, I think, it's one of the first colours that Lawrence designed, and it is still up there for a blonde. I love it. What I've done with mine is, guys, is like I love texture. So I've blasted it with our shape spray, and I've just give it some um, that sort of demi more sort of nineties um, yeah. cut. You know, beautiful. Yeah. I had this cut in the 90s. <laughs> I think I did too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think she really put. <laughs> I didn't. Imagine me trying to do this with the curly no. hair. <laughs> no. But you know what I found with this? I don't know if you found it as well, Diane. There's not a lot of hair in this. And for a, a woman who's never had a lot of hair, they just don't want a wig with too much in. And this is the perfect yeah. amount without having sort of like a winner or a shortcut right? because you can still do stuff with it. Right. Well, and, and it's, it lends itself really well to like putting a, a real textured bang in too, which I probably would, yeah. would do if it You know was. what, Diane, you totally took the words out of my mouth. I couldn't agree with you more. This is how it comes, right? But I, I would love to like do a little twisting and some like texture cutting into there to give it a little more looseness. And again, these are all wigs that are salon exclusives. You can customize these for people. So get them in it and then show them. Like Diane, yours looks so, so different just by adding a little bit of the control spray. I mean, you gave it a little moxie and a little like texture. And again, you know, we tried to show it in that classic Vidal Sassoon style for the shoot. But as you said, there are options and there are other ways to, to show these wigs. And that's what it's all about. Kyle, you know, Kyle's got that all textured. I love that, Kyle. Yeah, it's beautiful. And you know what? There's there's a big um, ladies or guys can be very paranoid about the back of the hair because people might sit behind you in work or you travel on the bus to work or whatever. With with this, this really does snatch into the nape of the neck. And when you move your head, the wig will move with you. So it's it's a great little cut. I love it. And so you guys also very affordable. If you have a customer who's coming in that wears short hair but might be on a budget, what this has is you don't have any lace or mono features in it in the front. It's just the velvet front, which is really nice for people who want that softness and don't like the lace, right? But we did put a little bit of a mono area right in the back, okay? So it parts a little bit natural. So if like Kyle said, you're on the bus or you're sitting in an office and someone's looking at the back of your head, it has a natural part line in it. So that's good. And then you have the memory cap three for the extra security um, and the hook and loop adjusters for the size. So a really cute wig. This is with a bang. And really beautiful. Yep, another one, people. We have two more coming. Again, let's look at the next one. The next one is the yeah. It Curl. And I have a lovely photo of the It Curl as well. Let's take a look at it. And curl. don't forget, don't forget our free, our giveaway today, too, guys. Remember, we're giving away yes. a fabulous wig. So don't forget that, guys. <laughs> Thank you, Kyle, for reminding everybody. Yes, just by asking questions, you guys are entered. Um, it curl, right? Soft, tumbled, curl, wave pattern. Um, I am going to spray mine with the curl spray. I just missed it, you guys. I hang it upside down. I give it a shape, like Kyle said. And uh, you probably noticed Diane doing that too a little bit. You know, you got to wake them up a little bit. So 
uh, give them a good shake. And well, actually I'll talk about construction while Diane's getting that on and situated and Kyle's doing that. The construction on it curl is ear to ear lace front. Then we go into totally wefted. So another great price point on this as well. Um, you have the memory cap three, and then you have an extended velvet nape on this. So look at Diane. She's getting that 80s flair, and I love you, Diane. You're a girl oh, with my own heart. I, I'm getting a real dynasty vibe out of this. I seriously. Listen, Whoa, oh. I love it. <laughs> Diane, that is so glamorous and fabulous on you. It's fantastic. I mean, you know how long it would take to do your hair like this, right? We all know. Oh my gosh. So I like it because it's got the volume, it's got some texture. And, you know, obviously we all know that the curl is popular right now. It's been popular for some time. But this has that nice kind of I don't know, I've been to the been to the beach kind of look and I've just let the salt water like go through my hair and I got this nice tumbled barreled wave. I love this for that effect. It's it's hair you really don't have to do a lot to, to get that volume. This is like, doesn't every girl like want her hair like to have this kind of wave when she wakes up in the morning? <laughs> Absolutely. And you know what? I struggled a lot. Could you imagine I've been working with wigs for a long time and if somebody came in who had naturally curly hair, yeah. It was very difficult to find a wig that can emulate naturally curly hair. And I think this is pretty close, you know? Yeah, it's just got that kind of undone texture to it, but it's got the curl in it. Um, I am showing it curl in RL1422 uh, SS, which is the pale golden wheat. Diane, that is a lovely color on you. I know you like your hair a little deeper. What color are you wearing? Uh, this is 627. It's, oh, uh, okay. gosh, the... Ginger Brown. Ginger Brown, 627. And Kyle? I've got the biscuit, the fabulous um, <laughs> shaded biscuit. <laughs> you, and never, you and that shaded biscuit, I don't know. You must have, you must have stock in that color. What, do you, what is up with you, a shaded biscuit? That's, you know, Still that's all I say to Chris. I'm like, Chris, you got to give me that shaded biscuit. It's my He's favorite. Like no, it, it's a great one because once again, I obviously, I'm wearing this as a guy, so I have... I've really soaked it down with the curl spray to try and make it a bit more. And I've tucked it behind the ear, you know, but it's, you don't have to have it so big and glamorous. No, That's what I'm saying. No, no absolutely. Yeah. yeah, I like what you did with it too, Diane. You, 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 have, you kind of gave it that little bit of width, but you got it a little bit smoother into the top. Well, um, and then when I changed the hairline, it reminded my, me of my mom's pictures from probably the early 50s. So, cause she had yeah. natural curly hair. Yeah. So. I mean, again, it's just like, how, like I just use a little bit of curl spray in there. It's just how you style it. <laughs> Cappy, Cappy says, would an alarm clock, would an alarm clock work on waking up the wig as well? I don't know, Cappy, maybe <laughs> give it a whirl, the world. Set the alarm and give her a good shape. That's what I got to say. <laughs> so yeah, you know, set the alarm to style it. Yeah, wow. <laughs> you don't Look have at to this. set the alarm as early. If you've got a wig, you can just grab it and put it on. Absolutely. I mean. So lovely, high style, um, just a great little wavy look. I think easy to wear. It comes above the shoulders, Diane. I can see like even on you, like it just, just comes right above. So very nice. Yeah. And like I say, once again, fantastic for people with salons, as you say, because you're going to get somebody coming in sadly who's lost their hair or going through chemo or whatever and they've had naturally curly hair, and this is a great one. And it's just enough hair to, we can sort of take this back as well. If you want to just put a little, you know, uh, band in the back, it's a fab fabulous. Yeah. yeah. So Diane, I just wanted to say, do you guys do, because another little suggestion for you people who have customers who like this wig, let's say, but maybe they feel, everyone's different, that it has too much volume in it. Diane, I assume in your salon, you also trim out some of the density in the back to maybe like compress it a little? I do. I I rarely do I not customize a wig. Maybe winter would be one, but I did that yesterday. I customized a winter for somebody of all things because usually it comes out ready to go. But I almost always do a bang or I'll trim it up shorter in the back. Right. You know, there's rarely does one go out without being made to fit that particular person. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. That's what it's all about. I mean, I, I think that 
that is one of the things that I love about what I do is being able to make someone feel good and make them feel special and also customize things so that it doesn't look run of the mill. It looks like it really belongs on their mm -hmm. head. And uh, one of the, and you guys have heard this, I hunt all of you, um, almost on a daily basis, women will come in and say, I don't want it to look like a wig. Right. Mm -hmm. and, you know, it's just like, okay. <laughs> no, I thought <laughs> I want you to walk out with me. <laughs> And, and I know that a lot of them are scared because I'll put something on them that's just totally out there. And I know where I'm headed, but they don't know where I'm headed. And I'm like, just, you know, just trust yeah. me with this. Just trust me. I'll, I'll get there. And yeah, it's, it's usually really, you know. It is a process. You're right, Diane. It's a process, you know. And, and that's just it, you know. Again, you don't want it to look like a wig. Well, then we have to take this. We're going to come close to your hair, right? We can't make every hairstyle and every color that exists in the world. We're going to come close um, and we're going to do that by customization. We're going to do that by finding something that's close to your hair and then refining it even further, you know? Yeah. So Kyle, that looks beautiful. I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm just surprised it's not on your head yet, but I'm, I'm going to let it ride. I'm going to let it ride because we got another one coming up. So, well, yeah, yeah, it's been on. It's been on. Don't worry. I've had my fix. It's been on. <laughs> okay. What have we got next? What have we got All right. next, Fran? We got a beautiful, this is our last one we're going to be showing you guys. It's another lovely wig. The next one is called Layer It On, and I'm going to show you Layer It On. We have wonderful Diane who's going to be modeling Layer It On. And layer it on is a lovely wig. I'm going to tell you why. Okay. This is a really light wig, very low density. Um, you guys, if you're, if you have a client who really does not like a lot of hair, um, uh, and they want something that is really soft and subtle, then you really want to look at layer it on. Uh, let's talk about the construction on that a little bit before I put it on the mannequin and before we go to Diane and Kyle. So this has a temple to temple lace front. Okay, it has a full mono top, so it offers you a ton of parting uh, variety in through the top. And then again, it goes into a half uh, hand tied area in the back and then some wefting to create some density in the nape. Someone asked earlier, why the hand tying? Well, the hand tying makes the wig lighter, it makes it more flexible and it gives you more styling options because when you're wearing a hand tied wig, right, there's no wefting. Um, that will like combat your styling ability. So a hand tied, fully hand tied wig is gonna look the most natural, give you the lowest density and give you a ton of different styling options. So this layered on is no exception. So Kyle, what color do you got? What are you doing to her? Let me know. I have got the, what have I got with it? Oh, this is the shaded honey again. So it's okay. the same color as my long statement style. But wow. all I'm doing is, this wig, guys, once you sort of step over to a hand-tied wig, you really, if you're a somebody out there who struggles with heat, a hand-tied wig is beautiful because it's a little bit um, cooler on the head. And like I say, this is so light to the touch. It's feather light. It's beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Diane, how about you, girl? What are you doing over there? You got her on? I do. This uh, hazelnut, 820, 828. I... I really, this is one that I, that I truly had it, didn't even hardly take it out of the box because of the picture on, right. in the catalog. And when I, when I put it on, it's like, oh my gosh, I knew right away who needed to own it besides me. I mean, it was just, <laughs> but I, yeah. I, love it. I mean, unfortunately you got to give them a, you got to give them a go and look what Diane, turn to the side a little bit. Cause I can see on you, like you got that nice tapered nape, nape but you have that razor and lightness, which really makes it also very natural and very believable. This one does not have a really heavy, heavy nape in it. It's very wispy and light. No, yeah, it is really beautiful. And I had a lady who had lost her hair and she always had a bob, but she didn't have a, a thick bob. And because of the hand tied, this makes a really beautiful little lightweight bob. I yeah. mean, you, this is another one, Diane that you could turn this into a million styles. Absolutely. Yeah. This uh -huh. is like, Diane, you got to tuck behind your ear on one side. I mean, that looks awesome because if you don't, if someone doesn't want a lot of width, that really, because it's so light, you can easily tuck it behind the ears. Great to wear if you wear glasses every day, uh, anything like that. And this is what I love because I, of course, 
I, as you all know, I'm like, I like the big hair, right? So I love that I can do this bit. I love that I can take my hands through it and spray it up and create width and create this texture pieciness that comes like really tight. So I love creating a little bit of width with it. That's just me. Um, again, yeah, so different. Kyle, I mean, you can see Diane's what? looks so different than mine on the mannequin. And um, yours, is, yours was looking different before too. Um, are you going to put that one on? Is that what I'm saying? No, I was just, I was just <laughs> no, I was going to just show you because you know who loves this wig as well. It's my best wig. You know, Te Terry, Terry Fox, oh, yeah. who's um, a big stage performer in the UK. Yeah. Because this is great because she puts um, a slight hot roller in this and gives oh, it loads yeah. of loads of volume at the crown. And, you know, it's a, just a great wig because you can have it big and full or as flat and flat as possible. So it's, it's fantastic. Yeah, it's so true. And you know, and Terry typically likes longer wigs. So for her to get into like a short wig like this, you know it's gotta be an adorable style because she, otherwise she's not doing it, you know? No, absolutely, yeah. But she jacks up the back and takes it yeah. behind the ear. And you know, there's so many different styling options. Um, once again, to I can't stress how lightweight this is. So if you have a client, who really suffers from heat or doesn't want a lot of hair, this is the bulb for them. Totally, totally. I want to go back to Diane. Can we do it, Diane? Can we see you up close with the layer it on, please? Yeah. Um, if you wanted to go with the like 60s yearbook photo. <laughs> yeah, it's got a little more modern twist. You, that looks really cute on you. Again, what color are you wearing? This is the um, hazelnet. H Very H nice. I love, this is probably one of my favorite colors right now yeah. in my life. It suits you well. It suits your brow color, your eye color. Very nice. I'm showing Lay Ray yeah. RL 1222SS, which is the shaded cappuccino. This is one of our new ash colors. You can see it does have like a, a highlighted look, but these are real ash tones. There's not a lot of red in these. And don't forget, we do have these uh, salon exclusive wigs available in those ash tone colors. So if you have customers who don't like a lot of warmth, um, another thing to keep in mind as well. Kyle, what you fussing with over there? You're giving her more of a bob look now, aren't you? Well, yeah, you know, I spritz two down because look how look how it just makes that gorgeous yeah. sort of daytime yeah. bob cut. You know, it's like we've made it look like like ten different wigs here, and that's the fabulous mm -hmm. thing about the way that we've cut them. Because if you have low stock or you might be on a budget with your salon, you know, you can transform this into so many different looks. Yeah. Yeah, that's so true, Kyle. And you know, we yeah. all we all come with different face shapes. We all come in different sizes and different looks. And that is one of the things about um, you know having these things. That, try them on in the shop and not just you know just buy them random and then say, oh, this didn't work for me. Get them, get them on. Work with someone who can show you how to wear it best. You know, trim it, shape it. That looks gorgeous, Kyle. Diane, look, Diane's releasing it. She's making it look into some like something completely different. All of these, it's all about the customer. It's all about getting that wig on them and working with them and seeing what their tastes are. That's what it's all about. And that's why we have created the Raquel Welch exclusive wig collection so that brick and mortar shops have something extra to work with, something extra to offer. And we did that all with you, with you in mind so that you can have products that no one else has that are exclusive to you. And I don't know, how does that make you feel, Diane, as, a, as the owner of Red Poppy Wig Salon? How does that make you feel? I love it. I do. I think that, you know, there, there's a, it's like getting having a professional in any other industry. And I don't know why the hair industry, people feel like they should be able to just jump in and do it without any kind of training or, ex, you know, any kind of certification or any, or, yeah. you know, you wouldn't just, I mean, some people do in other industries, but I think, I don't know that we're always appreciated as much as we should be. And so- I, I agree, I agree. And you know, to that point, you if you've ever been down the road, I've been down the road, Kyle, you've been down the road where, you know, let's say you order something online, you order a pair of pants online, right? They might be a great pair of pants, but you get them home and somehow they don't fit right, they don't look right, you gotta get them altered. You know, it's really hard. There are certain things that are, are I consider our personal effects. Mm -hmm. And those things, um, you have to, you have to try them on. You have to feel them. You have to touch them. And those things, you, you know, you, you have to be a little careful of, you know? So, um, you know, again, we do sell, uh, some of our wings online. They are to authorize dealers only. 
If you're not sure what you're buying people, go into a wig shop, go into a wig salon and talk to a professional and see some of these beautiful products in person. That's the best way. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think there's any, there's no, there's no question about it, is it? You know what I mean? If you want a beautiful wig, go into your wig and have it fitted, get your color right, have it customized. And you've got people like Diane and everybody who's watching, who's got salons, you do an absolutely amazing job, a fantastic job. Yeah. Hey, it's our crowning glory, right? I mean, whether it's, whether it's attached or not, it's, <laughs> it's part of our uh -huh. look. So you guys, we are at that magic time where we get to announce the winner of our giveaway today. And so let me see here. The winner of our giveaway today is Sheila Kelty. I hope I'm saying your last name right, Sheila. Sheila, congratulations. Congratulations, <laughs> Sheila. Enjoy your new hair. Absolutely, absolutely. We hope you do. And again, it's, you can get the Influencer Inspo or you can pick anyone out of the brick and mortar collection. You guys, you know, Kyle, it's always a pleasure having you. And you and I are like old hats. So, you know, we're like old friends when we do this. But it's always great to have a wonderful guest like we had today. Diane, thank you so much for sharing your story. Thank you so much for modeling for us as well and doing Thanks. such a great job at it. Um, it's an honor to have you. And we thank you for everything that you do to make your customers happy and everything you do for Raquel Welch Wigs and all the other brands that you rep. Um, and if, you know, if ever we can have you back soon, we will definitely do it because it's always a joy to speak with you and have you. So thank you. I would you. love that. Thank you so much. It's been great. Yeah. I just want to say thanks as well, Diane. You've been wonderful. And um, you look absolutely beautiful in every style. Thank yes. you, Kyle. <laughs> Everybody who's joined us today, thank you for watching. We will have another Here You Work Cares Facebook Live very soon. In the meantime, to Diane and to Kyle and to everyone else with their cocktails, may you have a wonderful evening. Thank you for joining us this cocktail hour and cheers. cheers. And thanks to you, Frank. You have a fabulous job as normal. Cheers, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, guys. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye-bye.